President Trump ordered the firing of special counsel Robert Mueller last June. Effort to fire Mueller. His attempt to fire Mueller. Why he moved to fire Robert Mueller. That the president sought to have Mueller dismissed in June. Trying to stop Robert Mueller from doing his job. Those are just some of the media reports uh, leading up to the Mueller report that came out on Thursday. And now President Trump's former attorney taking both the media and the Mueller report to task, challenging some of the biggest assertions like you just heard in that report. Here to set the record straight is former Trump attorney John Dowd. John, good to have you. Good morning. Nice so to be with you. When did uh, President Trump say, hey, uh, go out there and fire Mueller? He never did. You know, I was there at the same time that... Uh, that the report says that, you know, McGahn uh, mentioned this. And I dealt with, I was, I was assigned to deal with Mueller. And I briefed the president every right. day. And every week I saw Mueller or Quarles for eight months. Right. At no time did the president ever say, you know, John, I'm going to get rid of him. John is not going to do it. It was just the opposite. Here's the message the president had for Bob Mueller, mm -hmm. to me, to carry. One, you tell him I respect what he's doing. Number two, you tell him he's got my full cooperation. Number three, get it done as quickly as possible. And number and number four, uh, whatever else you need, yeah. let me know. So, and that was always the message, and that's exactly what we did. And as you know, we produced everything without a document missing, sure. without a lie. Can you imagine in Washington something without a lie? <laughs> But, of course, that was behind the scenes. The president on Twitter and stuff was uh, referring to it as a witch hunt, So, but that was separate. That's right. And I talked to Bob about that. And I said, do you understand what's going on? He said, oh, it's political. He has to do that for political reasons. Right. And he said, one time, early on, he said, there's one thing I'm worried about. I don't want to scare off witnesses. And I said, well, I'll tell you what. The president and I will make sure, we'll say publicly, cooperate with okay. Bob Mueller. And we did. Early on, so that was it. I just I think there was a misunderstanding with with with, with Don McGahn. People forget that it was Rosenstein that ambushed the president with the appointment of Mueller. So the president never had a chance to think about it, have him vetted. Are you talking about the, the suggestion from the report that uh, Don McGahn, the president's attorney, uh, was told, "Hey, go out and fire him"? Yes, that's that's the report. And I just don't believe it. I think the president simply wanted McGahn to call Rosenstein and have him vetted because the president believed that Mueller did have some conflicts. Whether he did or not, the president, as the number one law enforcement officer, was entitled to ask Rosenstein yeah. to do that. He asked his White House counsel to do it. John, uh, real quick, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, when you look at the Mueller report, what do you give it? Oh, it's an F, complete F. I used to have a strike force. I ran cases just like this. It's so poorly done. There are things missing. There, there, there are parts of it that just aren't right. And I would say they had a junior writer from the New York Times do it. It's very poor. We've got to have you come back and talk more about it. John Dowd, thank you very much. You bet. Thank you.